Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado degeneration right here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, if you have a problem where left or right headlight does not work, stay with us, we'll explain what you need to check. You have guys, by the way, up to six different fuses that you need to check for headlights. Always start by checking these. We'll explain about them because why to waste money on diagnostics and parts that you may not need. Also, we will talk where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way, you do not waste money and time. And why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, that generation, that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013, we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay. Why? Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're down the road, you need to find a fuse for fuel pump, ignition, immobilizer, parktronic, anything like that. All we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so guys, if a left or right headlight does not work, what we need to check, we will demonstrate on that generation Chevy Silverado here. You guys have multiple fuse boxes in that truck, up to three of them. Today guys, okay, we'll work in just one and that uh, fuse box is under the hood. Go ahead and open the hood guys. Here on the driver's side, you have a fuse box under this cover. Go ahead and open it and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout that looks just like this one right here. Before we guys continue, let's explain why it's important to always test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you will lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well, guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So guys, what we have here now, we need to check multiple fuses, by the way. Now, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for your Chevy Silverado or any car at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. Please check it out. That way you do not waste money and time. Now, a few fuses will need to be checked. We will come in this section right here. The first fuse is fuse number 11. Then you need to check fuse number 16 right here. After that, you need to check fuse number 30, right here. Fuse number 31, next to it. Fuse number 32, and fuse number 33. So these fuses here, they're for headlights, guys. Other things that can, of course, cause a headlight not to work, it could be a bad bulb. Always check fuses and bulb first before you start doing anything else. If both of them do not work, could be a bad headlight switch. Always check the wiring harness behind the headlight as well. Sometimes people when they replace bulbs they may not push it all the way or you may have water or rust building in there if you drove in really wet muddy conditions. Hopefully the video will be helpful and see you guys next time.